In this video, we're going to consider handwriting formulae within Excel. Whilst we have some functions, such as autosum and average, that can be applied automatically, with the level 1 exam, we do have to know how to make use of these formula or how to write them ourselves. There are four arithmetic operators that we'll make use of. Divide, multiply, add and subtract. And they might appear individually in one formula or we may get a combination of formulas to make use of or a combination of arithmetic operators. What we'll look at first is applying one function. So in this example we've got an amount of items we're going to buy and we've got a price per individual item. So we need to multiply in this first example, 8 by 0.99. If we go into the total cell, we always have to start a handwritten formula with the equals symbol, and any formula that's worked out in Excel always does have to start with equals. And then we can make use of cell references, as we've seen in an earlier video. So if I click on B3, and that gives me that first cell reference, I then have to type in the multiply sign. And in Excel it uses the asterisk symbol. So on the main keypad or keyboard it's shift and 8 to get that symbol. If you're using a number pad then we just press the, divide, the multiply sign. We then click on the next cell reference. In this case it's C3. And once we're happy with that formula, so it's equals B3 times C3, just press enter and it confirms that sum. And all we have to do, because the rest of the cells or the rest of the rows are all again multiplication, we can replicate that formula for everything else and see how expensive pork chops appear to be. So that's using one function, that's the multiplication function. If we go into a second spreadsheet here, we're looking at subtraction and again it's exactly the same process. But do be aware we have to make sure we're subtracting the correct values. In this instance we're subtracting 100 from 299 or cell C1, C3 away from cell B3. So we write equals as ever and then it's B3 299.99 and then subtract or minus and that is the hyphen key on the keyboard or on the number pad just the minus symbol so it's B3 minus C3 so again just click on C3 and once we're happy with that formula we press enter on the keyboard and it gives us our total and again because the rest of the figures in this example are subtractions we can just replicate that formula for the rest of the rows. It gets slightly more complex if we are using more than one function within a formula. If we were needing to subtract some figures and then multiply them, for example, then Excel would not always get it in the right or give us the right answer if we don't make use of brackets. So we're going to turn now to a concept called bod mass. I'm just going to quickly go into PowerPoint. So it's B-O-D-M-A-S, bod mass. And that stands for brackets out, division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. That is the order in which Excel will work out a formula. So it will always follow bod mass. And it doesn't matter where in the formula these arithmetic operators appear, it will always work those out first, or follow the order. What we can do, and we'll see in a moment, is make use of brackets to single out what we need to be applied first. If we look at an example, and this again is seen in the handouts that you're given for the course, if we worked out 5 times 2 plus 10 divided by 2 on a calculator 
it would give us the answer 10. And if we work it out mentally, 5 times 2 is 10, plus 10 is 20, divided by 2 is 10. But Excel will give us the answer 15. And we'll see why in a second. If we exit the show and go to the calculator, just so that we can see it in action, so it's 5 multiplied by 2 plus 10 divided by 2 and you see it's written out the sum in exactly the same way as it's written here if I press equals we get the answer 10 if we go into Excel a separate sheet here if I write that sum in exactly the same way and remember we always start with equals so it is 5 multiplied by 2 plus 10 divided by 2 and the plus symbol on the main keyboard is the shift and equals and divide is the forward slash button and again if you're using the number pad you'll have those identified by those icons themselves so if I press enter now we get the answer 15. The reason we've got 15 is because Excel is following the BODMAS standard. So the first thing it's done is division. If we go into a separate cell now, if I say equals 10 divided by 2, and that gives us the answer 5. So Excel has worked out 10 divided by 2 first. Following Bob Mass, it will then do multiplication. So in a second cell, if we say equals and 5 multiplied by 2, and the answer is 10. Going back to that original formula, we can see that it is 5 times 2 that it will do next. And then it will add together these two answers. So if I say equals 10 plus 5 gives us 15. So that's how Excel has arrived at that answer. In order to make sure that we get the answer that we'd like or that we know we need, we can make use of brackets. So if I write the formula out a second time, and again we always start with equals, then to open brackets it's shift and 9, and again just as an example, if I put 5 multiplied by 2 and then to close brackets it's shift and 0 on the main keypad plus 10 divided by 2 you might think that that will give us the correct answer because we've singled out the multiplication and whilst it will mean that that's worked out first there is still a division sign before the addition and in bod mass it's brackets division multiplication addition subtraction so this 10 times 5 times 2 will be worked out first giving us the answer 10 but then it will divide 10 by 2 giving us 5 and then it will add those two numbers together again giving us 15 so what we can do is make use of two sets of brackets a set of brackets inside brackets. If we say equals, open brackets, open brackets, 5 multiplied by 2 and then close brackets, plus 10 and then again close brackets, divided by 2, it means that the first thing Excel will work out is 5 times 2 which is 10 and that is encased in these inner brackets. Once that's worked out, it will then add 10 to the answer. So 10 plus 10 is 20, and then we've got a final divide by 2 outside the brackets. So 20 divided by 2, if I press the Enter key to confirm my sum, gives us the correct answer of 10. Do be aware that we don't always have to make use of more than one set of brackets. With this sum in particular, 
if I say equals and open brackets because of bodness and the ordering in which Excel works if I say 5 times 2 or 5 multiplied by 2 and then within those same brackets I say plus or add 10 divided by 2 we're still containing that sum and bod mass uh, multiplication comes before addition so it'll work out 5 times 2 which is 10 and then it will add 10 which is 20 and then again it will divide by 2 and again if I press enter to confirm my formula I get 10 so when creating or handwriting formulas within Excel you have to recognize what is being applied to what and the order in which it does have to occur in lots of cases it will be equals and then the first thing you have to type in is an open brackets but do be aware sometimes it will be slightly different so it's thinking about what it is that you're being asked to work out remembering the ordering of bod mass and then recognizing where you do have to make use of brackets so that's making use of bod mass within excel and understanding how to handwrite formula <laughs>